Hello beautifuls, my name is Coivier, I'm the creator of Juju Time and in this video we are connecting with the Divine Dark Cosmic Mother and their messenger so that way we can, so I can channel in the message that that needs to be known in regards to guiding us towards um, our individual peace, love, and joy and abundance. Definitely, as this is a collective reading, lean into your spiritual ears so that way you can hear the message that your spirits brought you here to listen for. I have already set, um, divined, um, and channeled in the message that um, I'm feeling very pulled and called to speak on, but let's get started with the message. So the message, um, the first message, it wasn't, there wasn't many messages to really, that I wasn't, that I was feeling called to share, but the biggest one that I felt strongly coming, um, is the fact it's basically it's information in regards to your path right um now this path uh for many it will be in regards to how they are to be of service to others right this doesn't this is not it is it's mixed messages right now that are moving through me so for some it is definitely in regards to like serving others um on a career based right it's like you know like what you are wanting to do right so this could be um gaining more clarity more direction in regards to how to go about um, this path of assisting or bringing assistance to said individuals, right? So for some, it's definitely in regards to career. Um, and in that, that could bring about changes. But for others, being of service, right? This is you tapping into your own individual self, your most authentic self. So that way you can touch the people that you are around or even in your job itself or even with your friend group or your family group, um, you know, whoever that you view as friends or family within your own personal life, right? Um, but it's definitely this sensation of you stepping further into your most authentic self. Um, and getting a better understanding of, you know, of having that courage to do so, right? And, mm, okay, I'm also being called to say, I'm, it just moved through me. It's like, um, it's it feels like it's a reminder for someone. And the reminder is walking in your authentic self is not only, it's not just about, um, what's the word? The word escapes me, but it's a uh, compromise. Yes, thank you. Trying to compromise in the space of chaos, right? Um, in a sense that you are holding yourself back. You know, you're not speaking what you wanna say. Uh, now, of course, depending on your own situation, lean into your spiritual ear you will know exactly when the right moment is or is not absolutely um but definitely definitely your spirit wants you to let you know that stepping into your authentic self it takes courage and it's not only a just about uh it's well it's not only just compromise right um sometimes peace takes work Sometimes peace is, um, you know, having the courage to still stand in what you need to say and how, you know, of what's going on with you because the peace within yourself is just as important as the peace that perhaps you are trying to cultivate in your surroundings around you, right? Um, but okay. 
Whew, let's get back. So that was a message for someone. Someone needed to be reminded. It's just a, a little reminder as you're going forward in your life um, or even in your current situation where you are right now. There's just someone that needed that reminder. Um, but okay. Uh, so, yes. There's revelations in regarding your path in terms of how you will be of service to others, okay? But this is based on the emotional-based work that you've done and a lot of, like, faith-based work that you've done. Like, your platform of your path is being supported by these things, right? It's the work that you've put into your, uh, into your emotional work right your spirit work you could you can also say um but as i you know but also your faith-based work so it's also getting a more of an idea of how spirit shows up for you it's more of an idea of when someone says god or universe or creator they're just something or even just like um when someone were to say like your spiritual court or something like this like there's just something more solidified for now because obviously we're going to continue growing and gaining more information along our path but where you are right now it's pretty much the structural foundation for your path and that's what's sort of you know um stabilizing you into being able to step into your authenticity right into um in, into that peaceful space within right you're not compromising yourself or even that space where you are able to um you know have more clarity of how you want to be of service right this is definitely giving me the definitely the deep sensation for those that are wanting to be of service or even if it's just like charity like you want to be involved in charity it could be it doesn't um i don't want to put because for some it definitely feels like this is what you want to do with your life you know uh being of service to spirits being of service to others absolutely but for others it's more it's also just like oh you know, I, you know, I like my job, you know, I'm good where I am. Um, but, you know, I would like to be involved more in like community based outreach, you know, to play my part in society kind of uh, vibes that I'm that's moving through me right now. Um, but whatever, but whatever that is, right, um, you put in the work and this is why there's there. Um, it's okay i'm seeing an individual that is like their space is being open like from their heart like it definitely like you as an individual have more capacity right now right and so this is where that is coming from right all the work that you are doing and this is where it will lead you or that you have done and this is where you are it's like now you have more space right um so along this path as well, the other message that I received is that because there's a emotional knowing, a faith knowing foundation right now, um, more of your guides, more of your spiritual court uh, will be revealed, right? Now how that will be revealed is very much, very much individual, but the biggest message that I, 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 I saw and I definitely felt is don't fear this connection. Um, uh, how can I say? Not to, it's not to say that it will come across as something that you, that you would be afraid of or that is bad or anything like this it's more of a feeling as though it's not what you would have expected it doesn't look like how you would have expected right um it doesn't feel like it right when our conscious brain 
when our human brain cannot understand what it is we just experienced or what it is that we just saw, whether it's a dream or physically seeing or hearing, you know, the first instinct is like, I'm in danger, right? Um, um, your spirit uh, guides, your spiritual core, because of the spirits that are uh, connected to you from the very beginning, right? They are wanting to reach out. They're wanting to reach out. And so there will be this reaching out point that you will get to. Um, and this can be, okay, I'm just seeing as well. This can be as simple as like multiple, like multiple, like deja vus, right? It's just something that happens over and over. You're just like, like, am I going crazy? Kind of feeling I'm also, is also moving through me. Um, this can also be like seeing, you know, like numbers or these like coincidences over and over. And you're just like, no, this cannot, like, what is this? Right. And it can feel very fearful. It can feel very like, am I going crazy? You hear it now. No, you are not. Your guides are pushing through. Um, and that conscious human brain that is wanting to, you know, keep you alive, you know, which is, I am happy it's doing its job, okay? Um, um, it's there to, uh, uh, it is bringing it to your attention, right? Um, but sit, right? Find space of peace. Find space of peace. Find that meditation at quiet time. Whatever that emotional faith based work that you've been doing if you've been actively doing something or even if you haven't been actively doing something um there is a sensation that you have been doing something to like maintain your sense of self right or whatever goal that you may have had and you know you've been quite committed to it you know for for quite some time even if you've taken a break or two you know because you're human you know but like, even if you've taken a break or two it's like oh no i have been doing that i've been journaling or i've been reading the books i want to read or i've been with the groups i want to be with or whatever whatever it is right um continue doing that right get into that space of peace okay and seek clarity and um if there needs to be boundaries boundaries can be set okay boundaries can be set of like okay listen i know you guys come in my dreams for example for example um but now like i can't seem to get to sleep or i feel really 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 exhausted in the morning you know uh perhaps you know help me gain energy so that way I'm not so exhausted in the morning or maybe at night when I'm when I'm feeling strange things on, you know, like touch me. Perhaps touching is part of your boundaries. They are going to be reaching out, but this this reaching out is going to bring you so much more deeper. It's going to bring you so much more deeper into yourself, so much deeper into your practice, so much deeper into the wisdom that that you were given. OK. Um, and if you choose to, of course there's a choice, but if you choose to, you, you know, there's much that can be known and revealed to you. Okay. Um, so just, yeah, so you can seek that, you can seek that, seek that connection. Um, don't fear it. No, you're not crazy. Okay, you're not crazy at all. Let's get some inner work and outer work very quickly. Inner work and outer work that we can be doing. Um, so the inner work is the, uh, in writer, in the, in the tarot, writer weight deck, it will be the nine of cups in reverse. Okay, so for those, you can, you can see that image for yourself and see what comes through to you from that message um but as a channel i'm just going to um speak on what moves through me so with the nine of hearts the nine of cups in reverse 
This is speaking on for that inner work. Don't be afraid to Mm, okay, for example, okay, it's it's coming through as an example is the best because what I'm seeing is like a person going straight forward for something, but something gets in the path, like, you know, like gets in the way or like it comes along with the path. But like this aspect of it is something that like you don't want to be associated with, but it's still associated with the thing you're going after. So for example, let's say, um, um, you know prosperity and and abundance right this is what you are going forward your own individual whatever that means for you your own individual um prosperity and abundance but what comes with prosperity and abundance let's say for example i mean it's more than just money but let's say money um there's money right but there could be an innate a little bit of a fear of money or how to handle money or even like a fear of like losing money right so there's things associated with the path that you are going down towards okay um so if, even if let's say it's be like oh right now i've been really focused on like relationships right like you want like a romantic relationship right but it comes with this romantic relationship is vulnerability and it's like oh vulnerability i'm not i don't know but it, like it comes along with it you know so be aware of those little oh the sun's coming out oh this is so nice it's so nice i'm i'm sure it's messing up the image but i'm so sorry but any which way um but it comes along with it okay so when those things when you start to see those things rise up within you, um, don't discount it because it's, it is a part of the healing process. It's a part of um, the learning process of knowing yourself, okay, as you are going towards and seeking what it is that you are seeking, okay? So that's the inner work, okay? Um, the outer oh and this definitely goes this definitely goes of like you know if you're wanting to get closer to your guides closer to your spiritual court well that means they'll be coming through somehow you know and that is attached to the path that you're going towards so i think you understand what um what i am saying now so that's the inner work for the outer work um we have the nine of this would be in the tarot deck. This would be the nine of clubs. Oh, the nine of um, wands or sticks or something. Um, and it's upright. But mostly what is moving through me when it comes to this is courage. Okay. Um, we spoke of courage in many different aspects that will be arising um currently in your life or what is definitely coming but we see you and that outer work really stepping into your own courage even if it's speaking what it is that you need to speak uh so you can continue to have that peace within you okay or if it's um walking along a path that you need to walk on in terms of being of service to someone, right? Um, exposing yourself, uh, you know, in a way to say, you know, I want to help, you know, I want to be in assistance, you know, I want to uplift. Um, that could be, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit, right? Um, having courage in regards to the spirits that will be showing up for you and, um and saying hey i'm here you know like we've been waiting for you kind of vibes you know that takes courage because you know every, as, you know just like i said everything in us would just be like oh crap like this is really scary or am i going crazy no you're not i'm gonna say that over and over and over again you are not you are not going crazy okay so step into courage okay that actually could be like your anchor 
for this month or however period that you are um, feeling that this could last, that you know that you could be in in this space of courage. But courage can definitely be like this anchor that you can hold on to um, as these aspects are arising in your life. So. All right, beautifuls, that's the message that the Divine Dark Cosmic Mother and their messengers moved through me so I can speak on to you. And I thank your guides for bringing you here and so you can um, get whatever medicine that needed to be heard. Um, so that way it can assist you along your own individual path towards peace, love, joy, and abundance. I am loving the sun right now. So thank you so much, beautifuls. I'm going to sit here and sunbathe for a while. And I will see you in my next one. Truth and love.